I'll, I'll take one very quick extra round of questions. Let me just see. Uh, do you all? Uh, back there, lady there, child there. <laughs> Big child. Uh, does size matter? Um, by which I mean the absolute size of the BBC, because other people say it does, and it hasn't been perfectly clear what you think about this. And when I say the absolute and relative size, I mean not the mix of activities, the total scale, the total footprint of the BBC. Should the BBC be smaller or not? Who did I say two? 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 Thank you. Um, can I start by saying I really am a huge, huge admirer of the BBC, and I agree with everything that David said about it. Um, but I also disagree that um, spending less money on something automatically makes it worse. And I'm sure they're not spending all the money on cake, but we do know that there is a huge number of people who work for the BBC, and I'm not talking about Jonathan Ross, but the bureaucrats who work for the BBC who earn more than the Prime Minister. I think there's something like 250 of those. And I wonder what they all do and whether it actually adds value. Um, likewise, the BBC, I think, is spending £1 billion refurbishing Broadcasting House. Is that really necessary? Um, has best value been obtained? So I really do think you know, that we can look at actually how the BBC is spending its money, which is where we need more transparency, uh, but not to chip away at the BBC, just, just to actually make sure that we're getting best value. Thank you. Uh, for the Shadow Minister, uh, if you think neither Ofcom nor the BBC Trust should be advocates for and regulators of the BBC, then who should have the regulatory role and critically, who should appoint them? There was somebody. There was, oh, at the, yeah. um, I'd just like to say is it really wise for the BBC to shrink its already fairly small teenage market and. Um, basically give a hold of the future viewers over to Channel 4. Okay. Is there anybody else? I'd like to understand what regulations you have in mind. You have, you've talked about regulation, but what are the regulations? Okay. Oh, there's a lady there. No, okay. um, I'm a huge fan of everything that's been said as well. Um, but I, I, I don't know a lot about it, and I wonder whether the, the, the cost of the BBC, the worldwide arm especially and everything, is cheaper than Whitehall. Um, the, the reason I ask that is I, I always think in Britain we, we're so um, responsibly uh, burdened with thinking globally and acting locally, and if we vote um, to reduce our ambassadorial arm, um, given the current, uh, what do you call it, retraction, of Britain's politicians on the world stage and the likely continued diminished role of the next decade is the BBC, whether bought abroad or just broadcast abroad, worth as much as Whitehall? 